Hi friends, uh, in the previous tutorial for CRUD with Micronaut, I forgot to show you how to add login filter in our application for Micronaut. So let's do it. Uh, this uh, video will be short since uh, adding a filter for Micronaut is as easy as for the Spring application. Let's create package, call it filter, and let's create a login filter. Uh, I just um, want, uh, want to say that the, we create this login filter just to handle, uh, to intercept incoming uh, requests and log them uh, using uh, SL4G uh, from Lombok annotation and we're gonna log only URI and method uh, post, get or delete. And let me create class uh, login filter. And to make this filter as a login, uh, uh, make this class as filter, I need to implement HTTP filter for, from Micronaut uh, HTTP filter package. And I need to implement method do filter. And let me add annotation filter from Micronaut just to uh, show uh, Micronaut that this is filter component and we say that we're gonna filter path uh, everything uh, starting from slash and this um, means that we want to log in everything uh, every url incoming gonna be uh, filtered by our filter and let's add sl4g from lombok and handle log info handling incoming request and we can get a uh, request uri uh, for url and method uh, with request get method name and we want to return a chain proceed request just to proceed filtering in case we have multiple filters in our application. So let's test, uh, let's try to run our application. Okay, let's open our Postman and try to make some request. Uh, as you can see, we made a get request for car by ID. Uh, if we navigate to the Micronaut logs, as you can see in our app logs, we see this login filter handling incoming request car and method get. For example, if I want to trigger post request and then find all request, and for example, delete request, I will see all these requests are intercepting and we logged everything in my uh, login filter. Uh, that's it for this video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you.